Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Traria. In the last episode, we went to go do the Sky Islands, and we took on Skeletron. Sky Islands was a kind of a disappointment. As you can see in my inventory, I, op I made a small world. And I went to the Sky Islands to find the Lucky Horseshoe. And I built a, uh, a third floor, so I can have the uh, Goblin Tinker and the Clothier move in. That gives me three extra rooms. And I built an extra floor down here. All this down here is a, uh, just a work in progress. It's going to be an ongoing project as we go. And look, we just got uh, Bohema, Bohemus, the Traveling Merchant. Hopefully will have anything good for us. Well, let's go check him out real quick. And I'll show you guys what I found in a small world. As you can probably already see in my inventory. He didn't have much. Alright. So, what I found in my last, uh, my, uh, off-camera adventure. I've got climbing claws. You can mix that with the, uh, shoe spikes and it'll allow you to have climbing gear. Which will allow you to hang onto walls without sliding down. Which is kind of handy, depending on how you like to play. I went to both sides of the, that small world, both oceans, and they had three chests. I got one of them right here, so what the water chest looks like. And all I got was nothing but three breathing reeds. The most unluckiest ocean adventure ever. I got another star fury. Got another uh, red shiny balloon. And we got the lucky horseshoe. Yay. Now I'm going to go to the guide and see what I can make with that. Because I know you can uh, put it with two different items. Alright, lucky horseshoe. What do we got? You can do the balloon. It says uh, increases jump height and negates all fall damage. Okay, we got different colors, and I can add it with the obsidian skull, which makes the obsidian horseshoe, which I have right here. And I do have the red balloon or the balloon as well. What is this? Oh, but this takes a cloud in a bottle, which I yet have not found. Does the balloon do anything else? No, nah, it's just all those, okay. And the climbing claws allow you to build the climbing gear. And it takes the climbing claws and the shoe spikes. I might go ahead and make that since I know I have the shoe spikes. I just gotta remember where I put everything now since I moved everything around. I gotta reorganize a lot of this. But uh, yeah, I'm, I was running out of room on my blocks chest. So I was running out of room on my equipment chest. So I had to... Fix all that up. Where's all my um, climbing claws? Guys, I have shoe spikes. I had at least two of them. Did I put them in the wrong chest? That'd be kind of... Not good. Where's my shoe spikes? Do I not have shoe spikes? I thought I did. I thought I at least found two of them. There's nothing in those chests. There it is. What is this? Oh, I have two chests with accessories. Yeah, I have four of them at least. Look at all these books. Man, that's a disappointment. So let's take one of each. I only have the one climbing clause. And go up to the Tinkerer's workbench. And let's build Tiger Climbing Gear. If you equip these, I'll take the skull out real quick. Alright. If you have a wall that has enough, at least like three blocks or more, you just hold uh, left or right, or D and A, and look, you can just hold onto the walls. And you can uh, see, you can like start down here and jump. Just keep pushing left or right, and you can climb the walls. And then later on, that has another use. Let's take this out of my inventory. Yeah. I don't think I can do anything with this, but I think I can do stuff with this. Let's take everything out real quick. Let's see if I can make anything. I know I can't do anything with the yo-yo string or this yet. That's later on. Let's see my accessories. Let's just loot all. I don't need to loot any of that. I already know what those do. Let's see if I can make anything out of anything here. Oh, lightning boots. The lightning boots requires... 
the anklet of the wind, the aglet, and your spectre boots, which was the uh, rocket boots plus the uh, Hermes boots and or the flurry boots. And I can make the lightning boots. Heck yeah, and it's normal. Wow. Could at least give me something with that. What is this? Mana regeneration, rege regeneration band. Increase the maximum mana by 20 and mana regeneration rate. Okay. But I will know I'm going to be making this. And I get plus 1% damage. Woohoo! Fun, fun. Alright, let's see. What's in this episode, we're going to go and explore the dungeon. And maybe if I got the time, we're going to go and see if we can take out the Queen Bee. I hope we have enough time. Lightning boots. Oh, look at that money. Ugh. Oof. Well, I'm not going to use any. <laughs> That's expensive. Wow. How much does this cost? Three gold? Guys, this guy is expensive. Armor, I'll take the defense. That's cool. Cool, cool. I can't make with it anything with the uh, these parts yet for some reason. Maybe I'm missing like one thing. How much does this cost? One gold? Critical strike chance. Uh, this has three damage, so I'm cool with that right now. Uh, critical strike chance. I'll do damage right now. I don't mind the damage. Hmm. Well, I got two extra spaces open, so let's do a... Let's go away from here real quick. Let's see what this turns into. Band of something. Charm of Myths. You don't get the Philosopher's Stone until hard mode, so I can't do anything with that. And then the Regeneration Band. Yep, yep. This turns into Master Ninja Gear. Which, this, the tab tabby comes from the hard mode, and this comes from hard mode. So, you, this won't be turned into anything for a long time. Uh, this, it needs... Watch this, this. I can make a watch. All you need is a table. A table and some gold bars. And a chain. So, that is a project that can be done. Okay. What about this? I need the tally counter, which is... From the large bats, probably. I think it's from the large bats. I think large bats only come out in hard mode. Does this turn into anything? No. This does. Medical bandage, a medicated bandage. You need the adhesive bandage, which is hard mode. And this uh, cause comes from now. This turns to only lightning boots. This. Lava waders. Walk on water and lava. Hmm. That would be kind of useful down in the hell. Alright, let's put away this junk. Let's unfavorite these darn things. Yeah, those things ain't worth nothing, guys. I'm sorry. Ain't worth nothing. Well, I still got two spaces. Let's put a banner regeneration. What does this have on it? It's got four defense. It gives me... Ah... Uh, Band regeneration is not really, it, it, it helps, but it's not really that great, to be honest. Now I already have this and this, so I just need to make a gold watch, and then we are set on that. Let's put this way in. Oh, uh, there. See, I told you, my chests were getting full. I moved stuff from up here to down here. I changed all this to bricks, which I'm going to continuously work on all this off camera. Mm -hmm. I don't want to bore you guys. I'm already boring enough, right? That was supposed to be a joke, guys. Now, calm down. Yeah, let's go get some of this metal here. I think there's uh, 76 bars is definitely enough. And I need chains. So, where did I move my chains? Did I have any left? I thought I had some left. Did I put them in blocks? Guys, see this is this uh, uh, inventory management. Oh, there, that's one of the 
biggest downsides to uh, Terraria is inventory management. It's always the worst. One gold watch to tell the time. And then I can go down here to make this. The GPS shows position, tells the time. So this tells time. This shows depth. And this does position. Am I losing one? Shows position, just position. There we go. That eliminates three items and turns it just to one. And I still get to keep all my stuff. So I got surface, east, and time. Yay. Later on, you can turn every, all these little bits into a, one item. But it takes a while for that. So one of the items you need is from fishing I do believe all right let's go to the the uh, the exciting dungeon so I got lightning boots I can run really fast we can fly and we got no fall damage me happy little boy Whee! and by ready for that dungeon it's gonna be exciting Bring out Mr. Impy. Mr. Impy. That's his name. Not unless you guys come up with a better name, then I'll use that name. Put it in the comments below. I don't know if it'll be worth a name, though, if you think about it. Because pretty soon I'll get a new pet. And it'll be more stronger. And then I'll, I'll be like crying in a corner somewhere. Sad days. He's good at right now though. And uh, while I was playing off camera, or uh, it could have been the last episode, I can't remember exactly, but I had a meteor land. No, it was when I was building all the stuff, I had a meteor land. So I don't know where the meteor is. I have not found it yet. Could be in that awful jungle on the other side, or the ocean on the other side. Jeez, dude. Did you see that rapid fire? Dude, you should do that all the time long jump you got like high jump plus flying still need a cloud in a bottle can't believe i haven't found one of those yet all right we're almost to the, to the dungeon yeah i don't know uh, the dungeon takes a while to explore There's two types of keys you get in a dun uh, dungeon. You get a gold key, which is for the chest inside the dungeon. Back in the day, it used to you have to have gold keys to open the chest in the dungeon. Plus, the only way you can open the chest in the Sky Islands, they got rid of that, which is a good thing. Which I remember back in the day uh, when this game was new, that cactuses would hurt you like they do in Minecraft, and boy, that was annoying in a side-scrolling game. It was not worth going to the to the desert always check all the bookcases because I'm looking for spells I think I went this far can't remember what the book looks like exactly I know the uh, book that you am looking for has a specific shape or like coloration these are the water candles I was talking about I collect every one of them don't throw them away because they are useful for farming later on Because they cause the spawn rate of monsters to go up. And watch out for these spikes. Even with this uh, pickaxe, it takes a while. These things can take you down real fast, health wise. I like taking the spikes, even though you can't use them for anything. I just like taking them just so I can get rid of them. Is it up there? Put down a torch or not usually you just point your mouse cursor at the books and see if you can find the water bolt I think it's called oh one of the special chests you can't open these till way later oh our first painting guys I collect all the paintings 
And I'm keeping that small world because I found something in it that I want to put a segment in my this video. No, not this video, but in the future. I found something that I did not find in this world. What haven't I not found in this world, right? And I'm taking that bookcase. You need the bookcases to make spells later on. But look at all these water candles. I'm going to leave those spikes there for now. And we got unconscious man. I have a room for you, man. Go ahead and head on up. Take your time in the dungeon. Don't rush it because this place can be really dangerous. You got spikes everywhere. There's traps in a lot of places. So it may take you a little longer, but take your time. These are one of the gold chests. What you need gold keys for. As you see on my uh, cast, uh, mouse cursor, there's a gold key icon. Well, I don't have any gold keys. Cause, uh, enemies can have a chance to drop in gold keys, but the best place to get gold keys is wooden chests, which you'll find sometimes in these dungeons. And from the uh, big dungeon slime. The big dungeon slime always has a key inside of it. So if you can find those, definitely go after them. Don't let them go off screen because they'll despawn. Now we got a mechanic, a tomb, oh a tomb. I don't, can't believe I haven't found a water bolt yet. Usually you find at least one by now. Hope I get all painting variants in this dungeon, which is impossible. I do you believe? Yeah, those uh, wizard types, just like the goblin wizards, those fireballs can go through all surfaces, so through walls and the ground. So be careful. And if you swing your sword or whatnot, it will, it can break the, the fireball. And I think those skulls have a chance to, basically like in Zelda, you have those enemies that will hit you, which will cause you to not use your equipment for a short time. I think that's what those skulls have a chance of doing to you. I asked the developers of this game, but like, what's your inspiration? Legend of Zelda? I want to put Zelda on my channel, on my channel for sure. I'm taking this dresser. It's a free chest. Take that. Don't have no key. Put a light down. See if I can squeeze up here without getting hurt. Look how much damage these spikes do. That's with molten armor. Think about having gold armor in here with that, or even a uh, what's that called? The meteor armor. I need to go back down to hell and get the uh, some more bars made up. So I can make the uh, molten or the fiery ham axe, which is a hammer axe into one unit. I'm going to collect these banners later on too. They're everywhere. But right now my main focus is finding the loot paintings. I like the paintings. Well, that's considered a painting, I guess. That's all I found was mainly just paintings. There's another type of key you'll find in here. In these uh, gold chests. It's called the shadow key. And when you use it. Or the shadow keys for the hail chests. And when you use them. They don't. It doesn't use them up. They're pretty much infinite. Not unless you throw them away. Okay. Literally every two seconds is a stupid. Spike trap. Or dark trap. What is up with the dark traps? There's a water candle over there, which is causing all those enemies to spawn like crazy over there. So yeah, most of uh, this episode is going to be mainly exploration of the dungeon. I don't know if I will have time to... To take on the Queen Bee. But we can do that in the next episode, if not. 
try to take out all the bosses before hitting hard mode. We gotta do some preparation too. I like digging around our uh, base so you don't cause the uh, corruption and or the hallow to spread into your home area. I don't mind the hallow as much, but the corruption you do not want near your base. It is bad. Because there's a lot of enemies that spawn in hard mode from the corruption that can go through walls. Now think of that constantly spawning around your house all the time. It's not going to be fun. Yeah, that water candle up there really spawned in some stuff. And spiky ball. Sonic the Hedgehog, anybody? I'll take that statue. Do I have a key? No. Not allowed to have keys. I already got one of those paintings, so I'm not going to worry about that one. Actually, I don't. I don't think I do. Oh, yeah, I did. No, come on. Come on, somebody drop the key. Uh, most dangerous thing in the game. Spikes. Yeah, these things do some massive damage. It's usually what kills you the most in this dungeon is the traps. Because they are pretty bad. That water candle needs to go. Oh, see this right here? Oh, man, I had to drop a nugget of body right there. Come on, disappear so I can show the peeps. The Meerkat family. What to look for when you're looking for the spell. Amp guy, come back up here. Don't worry about down there right now. Alright, so... See, I think that book right there, it's like a purple and blue. And you right click. And there it is. A manic water bolt. Do I have any keys yet? There's that manic water bolt, which does. Bounces off the walls. It's actually quite handy in small spaces. <laughs> this thing can do some damage. Look at that. <laughs> It doesn't do a huge amount of damage, but because it bounces around, it does multiple hits. And that's what's different about it. Why can I not get any keys? This game's like, you don't deserve keys. You'll never have keys. This, uh... Yeah, I'll take that instead of the, uh... One thing, this is the Catacombs one. I don't want to fill up my inventory anymore with those. I'll come back and collect them anyways. These dungeons can be kind of big. Let's pick up my deal before I forget it's there. That wouldn't be a good thing. Ow. Angry Bones Banner. And yep. So we're looking for a specific look on those books. Ow. Ow. Ah, brown chest means it's going to have a guaranteed gold key in it. So go ahead and loot that and take the chest if you want to. Uh, I'll go ahead and take that because it is considered a painting, maybe. Oh, another water bolt right there. Yep, they look like this. They have like that purple, blue. Oh, deadly. Is that a silent but deadly? Oh, yeah. They're the best. Especially if you're in a closed room. Do I have a key yet? Alright. Come on, Muramasa. Oh, blue moon. Take the chest. Always pick up all the chests after you open them. Because when you're in um, the map, if you're in the map and you... uh are looking around inside the dungeon to see if you picked up all the chests and you'll see a bunch of yellow dots on the map saying representing a chest Golly, what is going on right here? Man. But if you're uh, in the if you're like looking at the map and you see you like like you see this chest right here you look at the map It shows it like this and gold chest would be this color is a gold. These chests will be this color. Wooden chests will be the same color as this. And you want to get rid of all those chests. So there's eliminate all those chests. 
on the map so you don't get confused when you're trying to make sure you got everything that you can at the moment. Oh. Dang it, man. Get out of my way. Oh, and the skull hit me. I can't use my weapon. Another golden key. Wow. Now they're starting to drop their stuff. What is up with these spawns, dude? All of a sudden, I can't get in here. Magic missile. Yay. I want to favorite this so it doesn't get put away when I put my piggy bank down. Wow. Every second one of those things spawns now. I thought I got rid of all the water candles around here. Nope, there's one over here. Alright, I'm done with that. I'm done with that. Get out of here. I got rid of the water candle, man. Quit spawning. Yeah, early on, this uh, dungeon can really be frustrating. Well, what's the point of a dungeon if it's not going to be somewhat challenging, right? And you think this is challenging? Wait until the dungeon changes in hard mode. It doesn't happen immediately. It'll be stay the same for a while until you do a specific action in uh, hard mode. That's going to cause the dungeon to become a lot crazier. So right now the dungeon's in hard easy mode. Dark. Dark wing duck. May ever seen that show. Didn't literally last long on TV, but it was good. Alright. Yeah, there's another water candle. When you know you know when you're near a water candle, if you can't see them, you'll see this icon right here. Which says Increase monster spawn rate. That's why you collect them and save them. Do not throw them away. Because you use them for farms. Oh, golden key. Yeah, man. Get these spikes on out of here. Yeah, the only bosses we got left right now is the queen bee and the wall of flesh. And that's hard mode. Uh, yep, here comes the fireball. Or whatever that is, fire ring. And I try to explore as much as I can here, like open it up on the map. Because you can see, you can see how the dungeon's laid out here. And that's not all of it yet, because I still got all the way down here. Usually the dungeon will go as far as the... Uh, Lava layer or close to hell sometimes. Get up here and face it. There's that shadow key I was talking about. This thing does not get used up. This guy's going to get used up in a second. There you go. Dude, why don't you fire like that all the time? Man, that's awesome. Pick up these books so I can put my piggy bank down. Deposit all. I didn't deposit these because I need them. Well, I don't need this in the dungeon, but I need this for hell. Really? Watch, I'll have the sitting duck's fishing rod. That's how it usually is. When you're not there, you'll have the stuff you want. I know in the uh, jungle, you have a fishing rod in there too. The fiberglass fishing rod? It's not too bad. I think early on in the game, the Sitting duck one's the best one. Spikes, spikes, spikes go away. It takes so long to break. And then you're getting hounded by all these enemies on top of it. Like this guy. As long as I'm swinging something, he can't hit me. And I'm facing the right way. Haha. -ha. What are you gonna do, boy? What are we gonna do? Lights. I think I have an extra golden key. There's a, a switch right there. I can see it. If you clear this room, it might be a good farming spot. Come on, man. More masa. More of uh, masa. That's what I want. Don't want no magic missile. I never use magic missile. It's not that great. 
It's a controllable fireball, which sounds good on paper, but in action, it's not really that handy. Ah, I need this table, the alchemy table. That is, uh, you know how, um, I don't know if I should guys showed you guys that, but when you have an empty bottle, you can put that on a workbench and it becomes an alchemy table and a workbench at all at the same time. And, uh, basically that table does the same thing, but you get more options. Whoa, there's one of those slimes I was talking about. That's a dungeon slime. Looks like a mother slime. Don't be fooled. My goodness, man. Look at the amount of... Get out of the spikes, dude. Just get out of the spikes. Like, every step is a spike. Oh, I got another golden key from that wizard dude. Take him down. Get rid of him. Thank you. Dun, dun, dun. And here comes ball of fire. Actually, it looks like a tire of fire. It's very dangerous to light the tires on fire. They put off fumes that can harm you. Let's go after this golden chest. How many, how many golden keys do I have? I got three. Nice. And more muscle. Oh. Ooh, Valor. Compared to this, 28. That could be potentially better than the Amazon after if it gets a good thing on it. Bone Wilder. It's another crafting bench that allows you to take bones and turn them into something. And here's the Enchanter. Yay! A bewitching table, I'll call it an Enchanter. It doesn't actually give you enchantments on your weapons and tools and whatnot. But it gives you, if you put it down, you can use it. And it uh, allows you to summon more creatures, like this guy right here. If I use that table, I can summon two of him. So if I hit that, break it, and then I use the wand again, I can have two imps. Woo! Imps all day. Alright, so that's explored. Down here needs to be explored. Down here needs to be explored. Down there. Here and here. Good thing I got the rocket boots. Just go over those spiky, spiky floors there. Haha. -ha. Oh, there's a new guy I haven't got yet. Come on, you can do it. Nope. This guy's like, no, you're not taking my buddy off the wall. No, he's my buddy. I'm taking him down, man. Let's go up this way. Yeah, this place can be a bit frustrating, like I said earlier. Because the amount of stuff spawning all the time is just maddening sometimes. Ah, I got the shield. If I can get to, if I get left alone for a moment. My shield is definitely comes first. Oh, I need, I need to keep the bones. Let's get rid of these traps. Silver. Oh, man. Alright, books. You gotta go. Where's my piggy bank? Quick stack. And no, you don't. No, you don't. Stop. I said no, you don't. Cool. These wizards really can mess up your stuff. They don't do a lot of damage. It's just they knock you about everywhere. And he's been busy down here. Look at all this destruction. Where you stand, there's always a spiky trap. The amount of spikes in this dungeon is just ridiculous. Alright, another golden chest. More muscle. Oh. Handgun's good though. You can make something with it with uh, hell bars. Or molten bars, or whatever they're called. Nope. Nope. Heck no. Man, there's too many of those wizard dudes constantly. But what makes them annoying is that you're, like, what I was doing earlier by that chest, trying to pick up the stuff, is they constantly shoot those fireballs at you, and then they, you have knockback. But, this right here, it meets, uh, grants immunity to knockback. That's what's special about that. And I better get a more masa. Man. I want my nice edge. 
where I'll be getting it off camera in the uh, my little mini mini world. I think you're. I don't know how guaranteed you are to get no more monster per uh, per world spawn or generation. Since what it was in these chests, it's randomly generated. I think you're likely to get one of each item that you need, or that is allowed to spawn in du dungeons, or the dungeon. Oh man, look at how much stuff spawning. Jeez. Oh, hey. Give me that water candle. No. Give me the water candle. Thank you. Yeah, your inventory fills up so fast in the dungeon. It is so crazy. The amount of stuff you get. That's... Ah, Starry Night. Oh. Inventory space needed. Water candle out of here. Books out of here. Oh, water bowl. No, I'm not losing that starry night thing. Quick stack. That gives me a couple of extra spaces. Yeah. And key. Ah, oh, you. I want to say bad words. I want to say bad words badly. This is like continuing my luck that I usually have in this uh, playthrough right now. Is that the things that you need or want is not in the world. And they refuse to ever spawn in that world. It's only when you play offline or off camera that it matters. Get out of here. Dang it, dude. Playing whatever game that requires doors. Is there another water? No. I thought that was a water bolt. Looked like one right there. Because that's that blue and purple line. And there's the jungle chest. Which I like. Well, no, the, the piranha gun is not that great. Sorry, spoilers. I have my favorite farming weapon from those chests. I don't get that until way later on, man. Way later on. And my inventory's full yet again. Almost pretty much instantly. I just emptied it. Now I gotta empty it again. Okay, the spawn rate, man. Quick stack. No quick stack. Another water candle. Yay. Come on, I gotta find a more muscle. What it is, hey, if I find that thing, I'm gonna be making the night's edge and then come back and finish this dungeon. Ow. Seems like these spike traps or these dart traps do more damage because they're in the dun uh, dungeon. I don't know if it's just me, but that's what it seems like. Is there any more gold chest on here? My dungeon is large. Nobody wants you, Skull. Oh, yep. Give me that. And gold chest. More masa. Oh. Oh. This game is hateful. I'm gonna have to make it back home, put some of the stuff away because the game will not give me what I want. Yeah, let's get rid of these throwing knives. These. I don't like throwing stuff away, but with the amount of stuff I'm getting. Why aren't you turning around, dude? I kept pushing the uh, right button or D would not turn around. Oh, another gold chest just will not have the marmasa in it. And I don't even have a golden key. Yay. That's wonderful. 
I just want to build the more muscle. <clears throat> Seems like I'm getting quieter and quieter as I go. Disappointment. That's what it's called. Well, this place goes on, don't it? One crazy dungeon. And darkness and suits. Oh, I see all those water candles over there. And there's a golden key right there. Just leave me alone, dude. And there's another golden key. Okay. Let's use these. F it. F it. I can see the spikes. They are glowing. Yay. There's a brown chest right here. That means a golden key. I don't want to get rid of bones because bones are useful. Quick stack. Ah, that opens up a couple of spots. So let's take this right there. Take the chest. Put some torches down over here so I can see stuff coming. Get rid of these water candles because darn. Get rid of that. Well, I got gold. I got gold keys now, but. Stupid bastard. I just do not like the wizard dudes. They are annoying. And, yep. The infinite spawns. Because I'm trying to pick something up. Alright, let's see. Night out potions are useless. They put a slight glow around you, and it's not very handy or useful. More bombs. I mean, I know that if I go up. Get all the way to the Moon Lord, or I get really far in the game. I'll have like five or six stacks of bombs. We get so many. Uh, what is up with this? This game is so hateful to me. It literally is. Gather all potions can bite me. Let's use that. And of course you throw me off the freaking platform. Why not? Yeah, I'm just starting to feel like that. I'm not going to get the more muscle. Never had this happen to me before. But because I'm actually playing this on for my channel, that's why it's not happening. The sole reason. And you know what it is. Did I forget a water candle back here? Sure did. This dungeon's not nice to people, man. It is not nice. Swing sword, never get a hit. Okay, I have no more golden keys. These ropes can go bite me. Bombs are useful, but not right now. Let's favorite those again so they don't get put away by accident. Oh, another mutter slime. Dungeon slime, sorry. Ah, and a golden key sitting right there. Ancient necro helmet. Nice. If there's spikes on both sides, dig your way up. And another one of those. For some reason, it's not giving me that that item. Not at all. Let me guess. If I go back to the beginning of the dungeon where I found the first couple of chests. That's where I'll find it. And I got big potions. I don't want to get rid of those. Inventory space is extremely a problem. Inventory management is an extreme problem. Quick stack. Loot all. These can go bite me. Stop. What's up with the bounce? With the knock? Little extreme, don't you think? 
Oh. Alright, I'm getting really, really frustrated right now. Just leave me the heck alone, dude. Alright, I'm going back because I can't do this inventory anymore. Just can't do it. Go away, stuff. I don't want you. Why did you do that? Get rid of this junk. I know you can take this hand cannon or the, the handgun. And it allows you to make a more powerful called the Phoenix gun or Phoenix blaster. Or something similar to that effect. Alright, let's put this stuff in here. Just deposit it all. Get rid of it. Oh, I got a tally counter. Ah, I needed that. I'll take this, the uh, cobalt shield. Because that does have a use. A very good one, too. That it isn't allowed knockback. I'm just going to throw stuff in this chest right now. This is like these two right here can be my dumping chest. And I can just like... I give that thing back. Okay. Let's go here. Deposit it all. Give me that cat tally counter back. I don't need anything else. I'm going to switch out these potions with those potions because these are the larger ones. This is what this does. Whee! You've probably seen this before if you're a fan of Terraria. Hey, you can just guide this thing anywhere you want. But it's not really useful. I guess you can just fire with that because what you do is that you push the uh, left mouse button and don't don't hold the button down and he just fires it where you're pointing it but if you hold down the button the shot will stop where your uh, mouse cursor is and you just take it around town oh blew up on the door okay enough of that let's see if I can make <clears throat> the next item yep the, the wreck Displays number of monsters, uh, kill count, and rare creatures. While I was playing this uh, off camera a while back, the uh, the other day it was uh, Thursday, I think it was. What are you doing down here? Yeah, she sells like wires, pliers, and all that stuff for making your own machinery, kind of like redstone in uh, Minecraft, but not at the same time. Okay, let's get rid of that. I'm gonna get rid of this demon scythe. I like demon scythe, but it can be a bit slow. Man, let's go back to that dungeon, guys. We're not done yet. We are not done yet. I'm gonna get a Maramasa, and we're going to be making a Knight's Edge before the end of this episode. Did I? Wait a second. Yeah, everybody wants to hear that constantly, don't they? Put away this money before I lose it. That is a very bad idea. <clears throat> Put away that star. Favorite this. I was getting frustrated. That, uh, when you're early on, that dungeon can be really frustrating. Just the amount of enemies constantly on you at all times. Alright, let's finish this, guys. Let's finish this. And I better get at least one more Masa because I am getting annoyed by that every chest has everything except how many handguns I found. I mean, usually when I have, I, I explode the dungeon, open all the gold chests, and I may get one handgun. And I've got like a bunch of them. So what is up with the spawns right now? Of course. Good thing I got these lightning boots. Allows me to just run right through here. I don't know why the uh, corruption and or crimson always spawns. At least one of them always spawns in the ice biome or snow biome. Why can't I get a clean snow biome? I've had one for... I can't even remember actually. I'm out of the snow biome, man. Go away. No more blizzard. Even with the lightning boots and 
running and all that stuff it still takes forever to get over here think about doing that on a large world this is a medium sized world and yeah touch the water to slow down thank you thank you appreciate oh, rain Get those water relief seeds you can tell when they have their when it rains those uh, water leaf uh, put little blue flowers on them and yeah, that means they, when you destroy them you get seeds but yeah when I was doing my uh, planet small world to get the uh, horseshoe I found something now so I'll put in a little segment in one of my videos to show you guys not right now though because I don't use the item that much it could be handy for you guys if you are like building elaborate structures and whatnot it could come in handy and I'll show you guys in a little snippet in one of the videos I haven't done anything to it I just left it as is except put a torch or two down so I can see where I was going down there <clears throat> there's a chest Muramasa or another shadow key yay you don't need more than one not unless you throw one away by accident or something those shadow keys are four let's see I didn't go that far down the hill, did I? There's a candelabra base. Floor lamp. Hellforge. There's a lot of Hellforges in there. Did I see one of those chests down in here? Can't remember. Oh, that's where I died. There it is. Lock shadow chest. They're purple. As you can see, they're little purple four pixel square. That is what those shadow keys are for but not like the golden key which gets used up for every key that you or every chest that you open the shadow key doesn't disappear it doesn't get used up so you only need one per world not unless you actually throw it away or something I didn't even touch that skull but yet I couldn't use my item come on more masa yes legendary too now that what's different about this sword is that I'm holding down the left mouse button you don't actually have to keep clicking it swings automatically as long as you hold the button down and I'll be destroying it by turning it into the night's edge well, how much of this dungeon do we have left oh you explore all up here we got this down here we just got this nugget down here. It might be a dead end right here, actually. Hey. Dude. Do you mind? I was busy explaining the dungeon. Well, I wasn't really explaining it. I was showing you guys how far I went. And another shield. Which we did. It equipped our shield. Yay. Just run through them like a quarterback. American football. Just charge right through them. Uh. Oh, out. Oop, and ouch. Ouch. And it. Just head on down. Did I not light up that area over there? Did I even explore down here? No, I did not. Key. And another Muramasa. Wow. I just must have been checking all the wrong chests. Got a bone wand. Nice. Bone wand is uh, for builders. They let as you allows you to place bone pretty much as blocks for building houses and whatnot. So if you want to build a spooky house, you can build it out of bone. Personal preference, I guess. And piggy bank. Uh, I must have put it away. Dang it. Shield is on. See, I'm not getting knocked back now. Which could be really dangerous, actually. Okay. 
I don't want to get rid of bones because bones have a good use later on. I don't like throwing away dynamite, but it's more important things to pick up right now. There's another one of those enchanting tables. I don't seem to get knocked back either. Oh, a dart trap. I was like, why is it not breaking? Oh, it's because it's already just floating there. It's already been broken. Alright, we're almost to the spot where it looks like it continues or good ends. It looks like it continues. These dungeons can go away, guys. Is this a big square room? Could be a farming spot. Ow. Can you please not put spiky things right in my way? And I can't pick up the spikes. I think it would have been kind of cool if the developers allowed the enemies to get hurt by spikes too. Yeah, this allows you to place bone. Always said that. Got the spikies. And for some reason I left my... Oh, another... Oh, give it to me, please. I'm going to throw away this lead ore, this mushroom. Or, or eat it. Whatever, man. It says don't never waste a good mushroom. Uh, torches are really easy to make. Alright guys, I think we are done with this dungeon for now. But we're never actually done with the dungeon. We are done, but not done. This might be a good farming spot right here. I like picking out a specific shape room or whatnot, and you make it into a farming spot in hard mode. Because hard mode in this dungeon becomes crazy, and you want to farm the enemies that comes from hard mode, because I can drop some cool stuff. A shotgun, a sniper rifle. You meet Master Gi, or whatever his name is. Or Lee. Bones. Bones Lee. Yeah, that's his name. <laughs> Bones Lee. Alright, we are done. Yay. Now, before I end this episode, we will be making the mo oh. What the? Okay, where did I go? But we'll be making the Knight's Edge. So I'll take this one, put this in it for now. This on accessory. I want to leave seeds. Since I did all this, I have to remember where everything is. Is that all the water leaf seeds I got? Wow. Bro. Alright, check this chest, get my piggy bank back out. I'm an idiot. That's what I am. Let's just, just put away that key. <laughs> Alright. I'm guessing that will consider that a type of equipment. Let's put this in the corner. Take this. This. Put a projects chest. This. And this. So that's 45 damage. And that's with... Was it 9 speed? 6 damage. A critical strike chance. More moss with nothing on it. Deadly blade of grass. 37 melee damage. And light spans 20 damage. Take all four of these. And then you go find a shadow altar. I think it's just those two or four in the shadow altar. Close the door, man. Let's go find that. I saw one that was thought there was one nearby. There's a demon altar right there. So let's go to the other side. Take me out to the other side. What you doing outside? Hmm. See this purple glow? Just dig straight down. Digging straight down. More clay. You can use clay to make uh, flower pots or planters to put uh, to grow crops. I haven't grown crops in tray in a long time. You always usually find enough of everything. Wildly or wild. Now, right there it is, guys. The Knight's Edge at 50 melee damage with no. Whatever that word is that describes the stuff on it, like this, like nasty. I can say it sometimes, sometimes I don't remember the word. Alright, here we go. And it's a normal team. 
playing this game. The slime is falling from the sky. Yay. It's not like we can take out King Slime anymore. He's not easy. He's not easy at all. Alright, uh, Mr. Goblin Guy. Let's see how much it costs for the Night's Edge. One gold. Ooh. Dull. Large. Bulky. Shameful. Hmm. Keen. You're gonna give me the worst stuff ever, dude? Ah, I'll do 57. I'm okay with 57. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. I think we'll save this slime rain for next episode. So when I start up again, we'll have something to do. And then we're going to go go after King, or Queen Bee. Maybe explore a little bit more of the jungle to see if we can find anything in there. So I'm missing a couple of items from the chest in there. And we're going to start going back down to hell to open up those chests. And start building a long platform to fight the wall of flesh. We're getting close, guys. We're getting close to hard mode. But there's a lot of preparation to do before we even kill the wall of flesh because you don't want. When you kill the wall of flesh, he'll cause two lines. Let's say, look at the map here. If I kill the wall of flesh, basically straight right here, like right underneath my uh, elevator, if I kill him right here, randomly you'll have hollow go let's say go back to the surface you'll have hollow if i kill him right here or down in hell equivalent to a v-shape of corruption and hollow will go both sides of your uh, where your spawn or where you killed him so basically in a v-shape so if i kill him straight down underneath my elevator this will be hollow and this will be corruption and it's a big v all the way down to hell and they'll start spreading like crazy. So wherever you kill him, you'll have a, a V shape of uh, hollow and corruption from hell to the surface where you killed him. So if I killed him way over here, all this could be corruption in a V shape or hollow. It's randomized, but it's still always a V shape. So you have to be real careful with that. And uh, after you take out the uh, wall of flesh, to get the hard mode ores besides doing the fishing crates you have to destroy these with the pawn hammer the item that he drops it's a hundred percent drop rate and he always drops the, uh, the hammer called the pawn hammer and it's the only thing that can destroy these demon altars every time you destroy a demon altar a nugget of hollow and or corruption will spawn somewhere randomly in the underground and that'll help spread it faster too so what i'm going to do the preparation is i'm going to take like probably from here to maybe like right here or something and just dig out a huge rectangle and just about three or four blocks wide on each side all the way down and that's going to protect my home site so I can build whatever I need to do but protect it from the corruption and hollow so it's a good idea to do that that's part of the preparation I need to do before taking him out all right guys that's a long-winded speech, but I'm trying to explain to you guys that the best solution to protecting your home site or your building site from corruption or hollow. Alright guys, that'll be the end of this episode. If you'd like to become part of the Meerkat family, hit that uh, subscribe button. If you like my commentary and you find it helpful, funny, or anything up on the positive side, hit that like button. And don't forget about that notification bell to keep up with my latest videos. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.